so I'm pretty awful and I got my dentist time. I got I have teeth cleaning today at 11.30 apparently and I got it mixed up with 11.40 so I am late. I hate being late guys. I'm always a punctual person and I feel bad for being late and pushing back the schedule but um, yeah I'm on my way there now and I'm going to just go home after to let Riley out to pee. I won't have time to walk her but it's just it's not fair for me to leave her in there for almost 10 hours with a commute and since she had her accident yesterday you know that was kind of like a lesson to me that's too long so I'll just go home let her out and then come back to work good evening everybody it is Tuesday night yes it is Tuesday so right now well, earlier I was trying to queue for a Battle for Azeroth dungeon using the dungeon finder, but I don't think it's gonna happen. There are no tanks and healers queued up. Uh, earlier there was a healer. It showed it in the interface, but I canceled that because I decided to just join a Dota game. I wasn't gonna sit around waiting for a queue because it reminds me of what I did during Mythic Plus and I just, I just don't like the, I I don't like the thought of sitting there waiting on a queue that's going to take 30 plus minutes. So right now it's nearing 40 minutes and there's still only two DPS in queue, one being me. So I doubt it's going to happen. I mean, I'll leave it going, I suppose. So I'll probably leave the client going for a little bit, but I plan on watching a movie. So I don't think that's going to happen. I will probably try to queue up for a dungeon like throughout the week. I'll just leave it going and I'll just do something else. And if it pops, it pops doesn't whatever um, I did take a look at the holy priest talent tree and it essentially looks very similar maybe they shifted things around but that's kind of boring because uh, after playing Resto Druid I have very little desire to play holy quick thing before I start my movie I'm watching the beach tonight with Leonardo DiCaprio and Danny Boyle directed it so I like him um, I finished reading the murder on the links and I really like this book she is such a good writer like twists and turns man um, I, I really really like Hercule she wrote him really well he's very likable um, even though I don't know he doesn't feel arrogant to me because he just knows what he's capable of so I like that about him because he doesn't really come off cocky. At least I don't think he does. So I just find him to be incredibly likable. I also am really... <clears throat> Holy crap. <clears throat> what the hell? Um, yeah, so I loved reading this book. And I am starting The Murder of Roger Ackroyd next. So this is the only book left that I have that I haven't read yet, so I will have to buy more. So I'm honestly just thinking I will buy more of this series and then I will uh, maybe buy a Stephen King book as well. Agatha Christie, man, I am so glad that she celebrated because for some reason, maybe not being very well versed with authors and stuff in the past. I heard her name once in a while, but I did not realize how much impact she had. Yeah, her books are very entertaining to read, so thank you for the recommendation. Seriously, honestly, I have to admit, when I first read that someone recommended me, Agatha Christie, at first I was like, hmm, she's an author from my school days, and I wasn't too sure I was thrilled about trying her book, but you know, reading for pleasure compared to reading for uh, school is such a big difference. I hated school. So any book I had to read for school, it's kind of like by default, you're like, man, I have to do that. But I did manage to enjoy Jane Eyre, so that's good. And uh, funny thing also, I decided to list, I decided to list this teapot up on eBay because this was the teapot that I complained to customer service that it was leaking and I wanted to return it. And they said, if you used it already, we'll just refund you, just keep it. 
So I figured might as well just like earn more money, right? So they refunded me for this and I managed to sell it for like $20 with $8 for shipping. So I have to ship it out soon, hopefully tomorrow. But it was really bugging me to keep this around because I really don't like keeping stuff around that I know I will never use and there is no way I would use this because it is a leaking teapot and I'm not settling for a leaking teapot. You guys already saw that I got my glass one, the see-through one that does not leak, so I have no use for this one. So I'm very glad I sold it. Although I feel, <laughs> do I feel bad for the person that's gonna get this teapot? Because it sucks? Maybe. Maybe not though, because I feel like the average person will just be like, Oh, this teapot is so pretty. And then when it drips, they'll be like, oh, That's okay. Alright. Um, <laughs> Alright, time to watch the beach. And we'll see if that dungeon queue ever pops. So I originally was going to install a heat troller, I guess is what it's called. But basically this would help me control the heat generated for my heat gear, my jacket liner. But unfortunately, I need to remove screws from my bike and I don't have the tools for that. So I'm going to have to get some before I can install it, which kind of sucks. I'll still ride back after lunch though. So ever since I have done my shopping spree, this is what I have amassed. So many freaking boxes, man. I will take the time now to clean it up because it just looks so unsavory. I don't like stuff on my counters. This is the teapot I'm going to ship out. Can't wait to get rid of that. I got my heated gear for my motorcycle stuff. So I'm gonna try that on. It's a jacket liner. And yeah, stuff here and there that I can probably clear up better. This side is always pretty decent. So her snout was dirty. When I recorded her after I washed her, her snout was a little bit brownish, right? It looked very, I did not like it. So I took a little wet wipe and wiped her nose and dirt came off and now it looks more normal. So this is the jacket liner. It actually fits me pretty well. I like it um, and it's really cool. You feel all these wires inside. Um, I ordered a hex socket wrench off Amazon because I need it to remove my seat and then there's going to be the battery underneath that I just need to install it onto before I can actually wear this and have it be heated. But I'm actually so, so curious because I've never worn something like this before and I'm generally wondering how warm I'll be because I'm really sensitive to the cold, so if this works out well, I'll be really, really impressed, for sure. All right, this looks much better, I think. So this box is contain my flats. Um, I bought a pair of Gian, Gian Vito Rossi flats, and they're pink and they're patent leather, and they're beautiful, and I think I showed you guys, but the thing is, they fit kind of loose right now, so I ordered a pair in six and a half, that should be coming this week um, and I'm gonna compare the two, wear them and then see if I can return one. I might not return the other one though and just try to sell it on eBay for uh, an increased price because they were on sale and now that they sold them out I might try to rip somebody off on eBay. <laughs> so this, um, this box contained my motorcycle stuff from today so I'm not going to break it apart until I make sure everything is working properly, even though I don't foresee returning that. But yeah, I got these boxes I will have to put away, but I might just maybe hold them just briefly because I have more boxes coming and I usually like to make one trip to the uh, bin. I'm that lazy. <laughs> also, one quick thing. Hey, hey, hey. One quick thing is that I actually cannot believe how dirty her paws were before because wow Milo when I uh, I didn't even wash her feet that the other day I just you know she just stepped in the water that I was spraying out of the hose but 
I was so surprised to see how pink her paws were. Like, they were pretty dirty for a while because I've never seen, or I feel like I haven't seen her paws this pink in a while. Wow, what do you want? Get out of here. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning, and I'm just about to head out. I decided to ride today. I do admit it's a little chilly this morning, but I have a cashmere sweater under this. I have a heat wear um, underwear kind of shirt thing under this as well. Then I'm going to put this on. Then I'll have my jacket on. So I would like to think I will be pretty warm. But if not, it's just like a 15 minute ride in. And it is sunny out, so that should help. But I wanted to record really quick because I literally just got an email that there is a potential egg donor parent thing that is interested in me. Um, they would be located in San Jose, so I unfortunately would have to travel for this one. Even though everything is paid for, I'm just not a fan of traveling. So I would have to fly for two occasions. The first occasion is the initial medical evaluation, which is probably just one day. The second one would be the extended one. Would It would be eight to 10 days. Um, that is long. I would like to bring Ryla with me. I can't see why there would be a reason for that. I would just need to obtain another ESA letter for her so she can fly in the cabin with me. But I mean, I don't really think they would have an issue with that because ESA dogs don't cost extra. But just the thing is that sucks is that you need an adult companion with you for the second trip. And that is one of the things that sucks about being an introvert. I don't have someone that can come with me. Um, I would ask Shane and he's super reliable, but the problem with that is he is getting his puppy, a Siberian Husky puppy next month, early April. And I'm pretty sure this donor cycle will take place in the next six months, maybe, or maybe longer. I have no idea because I don't know exactly what the uh, timeline will be like for this, but I just don't think it would be fair for me to ask him to travel with me for eight to 10 days while his puppy is still young. I mean, I could always talk to him and see what he says, but I'm most likely banking on him saying that he would prefer not to, and I would completely understand because I wouldn't want to leave my puppy either. So without him, I have literally nobody, and that can be a little challenging. Um, I, I emailed her back already because I want to get this ball rolling. I really like to just, you know, be responsive and just get this rolling because this is something that I'm super interested in. Um, <clears throat> apparently for this one, the first donor cycle would be $8,000, and I I feel like I'm ready to finally give it a try, especially since it's been a few months. So I really hope that the adult thing won't be an issue. I, I feel like it would because they say that you must have someone with me, so I can't just find a random person. I wonder uh, that, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if they can fly my mom or my parents from New Jersey, but the problem is they would be losing money for a week. They can't compensate my parents for missing work. So shit, this is gonna be complicated. Um, anyways, I mean, at least I heard back, right? Apparently the father will be here in San Diego next week and was interested in meeting me. So I kind of need to figure this out before next week if I do want to meet him. I'm fine with meeting him, totally fine. I'm a little curious, they should be Chinese if they want my eggs. <laughs> but okay, I gotta go into work. Uh, Hopefully I'll stay warm and hopefully this egg donor thing works out because yeah, it would be a, a nice boost for me and it would be very nice to provide a child for somebody else who is struggling and I'm sure that is very frustrating and tough. So I do hope it works out. Look what I just got, wrenches from my bike. All right, I'm going to try to install this during lunch the first thing i need to do is remove the seat so i think i have to lift it at the same time which i can't do holding the camera hold on one second seat removed 
now I need to use this to remove some bolts. This one is already loose. I need to make sure I put them somewhere where they don't get lost, too. Um, I don't know, man. I'll put them inside my Sony thing. Other one. Whoa. Let me just put this stuff on the ground. Getting in the way and everything. Look at this girl. So cute. Uh, ooh. There we go. Okay, got it. Put it down here. All right, all right. I'm gonna do this without the camera first. Oh, so dirty. And I'm caught blocked by these. I don't have wrenches to remove them. Oh man, I really wanted to wear my heat gear and everything. God damn it. Ah, oh, I need to buy more stuff. All these bolts and stuff. God damn. I feel like the battery. Can't even see it if I try to peer around. It's under that seat somewhere. It is time to feed this puppers. And afterwards, I have some very exciting news. Break. Good. Okay, so on to the good news first. Um, I got a text from my friend right when I got home today to say that the International is being held in Vancouver this year. So right away, before I even let Riley out to pee, I started booking my hotel and my flight. And I also need to purchase another ESA letter so that I can email it to them and just make sure that everything is settled way before the flight even happens. I just like to get all of that done so I feel very confident that everything will work out. So <laughs> I like put so much pressure on myself. I felt so pressured to, you know, look everything up very quickly and just book everything and make sure that I have everything settled. So I did end up booking a hotel for about 260 a night, which is, yeah, it's kind of a lot, but you know what? Whatever, I'm going on vacation. I never go on vacation, and I don't want the hassle of dealing with possible Airbnb stuff. I, I didn't even bother looking at Airbnb. I just straight up went to hotels. So, 260 ish a night, and I made sure it was pet friendly so I could bring Riley with me. And then I booked a flight as well for, it was like $300 round trip, which is whatever, pretty decent. All right. I still have to buy TI tickets. They go on sale next week, so I better get me some tickets. I also canceled my booking in Seattle because it's not going to be there anymore, so that was all very smooth, but I am so surprised they announced it this soon. It feels pretty soon because I was expecting it uh, next week or later than that, but I am so excited. <laughs> Yay! It's happening and uh, never been to Vancouver, so that'll be cool, I guess. On to the more bland stuff, I guess. Whoa, bought me some dish detergent because I ran out and I need to refill one of my bottles. That way I have an easy pump right next to the sink. I also bought some mouthwash. I've been awful and I haven't really been using mouthwash. When I went to get my teeth cleaned this week, they were saying that make sure you use mouthwash. In the past, I used to be that terrible person that never flossed, but now I have learned the ways and flossing is now my daily routine. So if you don't floss, make sure you floss because it's really, really important. People get lazy, but flossing is important, so make sure you start. But this is my third step of teeth cleaning that I need to get used to doing, which is mouthwash is easy, so I don't think it'll be that hard. I also bought another Agatha Christie book, The Big Four. So this book comes right after the one I'm currently reading, which is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Oh, it's a little bent in the back. But yeah, I bought two more Hercule books, and then I bought one book by Stephen King. I'll show it when I get it. I forget what the title is. But now, I am going to 
fill up my detergent thing, I guess, and then cook. I am pretty hungry. Alrighty, got my bottle here. I need to fill it up. What are you doing? Oh, let's see. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Oh. I could have a pump thing right next to the sink, but if you see the way that my sink is designed, it's actually super convenient using this spout thing. So I really like it. It looks more clean than just having a bottle on the side. So actually installing this isn't as bad as I think. Um, it just twisted off from underneath the sink, but I kind of did it blind. So putting it back in might be harder than I realized. I feel like I have been so busy since I came home and haven't had much time to relax yet because Right when I came in the door, I booked everything for TI. I had to ensure that I would be able to go. And then I got a few more packages today. So I've been taking them out, filling in the soap thing, putting it under the sink was so awful. But you know what? I only have to do it once every few months. So I think it's worth it. But now I think I want to vacuum first before I cook because there's a lot of freaking hair on the floor and it's not pleasant. <laughs> so vacuuming actually doesn't take that long, but actually I could probably do it while I let it sit because I want my to that because I want my potatoes to soften and that would be a good time to do that. Also, I I bought a crop top. Crop top basically means that it cuts off in the midriff area so it shows your belly button. And those are tops that I've been wanting to try to wear more just because I think it's a pretty nice look and I am the type of person that has always been kind of uh, shy to show my midriff area like I never wore bikinis I'm not a beach person but I never wore bikinis much so crop tops I feel like look very nice if you wear them properly so I don't have the abs for crop tops yet but I'm thinking this top might encourage me to have the abs for it. <laughs> we'll see because I can't wear this item until I have a proper stomach. I'm not the type of person to wear it with a flabby tummy, but okay. I'll cook and then I will vacuum while it's kind of just simmering. I'm going to let this sit for a bit longer on low heat. I think uh, some potatoes are probably still hard. And I like them soft, so I'm going to finally take this time to vacuum because I did all my dishes too. Feeling good. I can't wait to eat this. Quite hungry and not going to be doing much else tonight. I'm probably going to edit this right after, watch a movie, and then exercise because I can't wear my crop top without them abs. So today has been a good day. Um, egg donor news, the international news. Today has been such a good day. Ah, oh, so good. All right, almost the weekend guys. So I hope everyone's having a good week and have a wonderful evening.